Did you know your knee can rotate up to 45 degrees? If you have a shoulder injury, we wouldn't just train forwards and backwards movement. We would also train rotation movements as well. So for knee injuries, why do we only train flexion and extension movements and ignoring its rotation component? This is the most popular exercise to improve tibial rotation, but I personally don't think it's that effective. Here's an exercise that I teach my patients to improve their tibial rotation. With your feet slightly in front of your knees, place your hands like this and let's check your tibial internal rotation range. The injured side has less tibial internal rotation. To rotate inwards, you're actually using these muscles. And as you rotate, these structures on the outside, including the IT band, are being stretched. Let's try this instead to improve your tibial internal rotation. And now that we're done, you should have an increase in your tibial internal rotation.